Water Beach. All right, down here at Clearwater Beach, reminds me a lot of Miami. It's got that kind of feel, South Beach feel. Here we go into the sun, I apologize, but it's a nice vibe today. It's probably about 81 degrees, 80 degrees, wind blowing. It's about uh, seven in the afternoon, man. Just a nice evening, nice evening down here. All right, downtown Hyde Park, an historic district in uh, Old Old Town, Tampa, uh, has a lot of fine shops down here, open mall, all the stores you see in other places uh, down here as well, but not a, a lot of unique shops, mom and pop, you find specialty items. We actually went to a little store and got pasta we made. We got back to the RV, made dinner. So it's got a lot of little treasures and like I said, Lulu Mon there and just other places, Crate and Barrel. Stuff you see at all the places, but then it has unique stuff as well. So just want to get out the RV a while, do a little shopping. Uh, your missus will probably appreciate it and your daughters, but uh, I know my wife and uh, daughters did. And uh, we spent a little time yesterday down here and we're back again today, walking around, just enjoying the sun. Um, this place right here, Odd Fellows, some of the best ice cream I've ever had. Most of my kids said, Odd Fellows ice cream, they had some really crazy flavors, but I tell you what, it was really good. So come on down, get out the RV, Hyde Park, a lot of high end shops, low end shops as well. Fine dining, not so fine dining, got a little bit of something for everybody. Uh, Nike store, shoe stores, nice men's clothes, women's, you name it, they have it. So Hyde Park in downtown Tampa, it's uh, in the historic district. Of a lot of old homes around here um, on the side streets that you can uh, take a look at. Just really neat manicured and you'll really enjoy the view down here at Hyde Park. All right, downtown Tampa at Sparkman's Wharf. And it's right here on the river walk. Uh, the river walk's about 2.4, 2.5 miles. And this is one of the stops. I mean, it's incredible. Nice food, dining, man, uh, beer, cocktails, you name it. Nice restaurants, burger bars, hot dogs, you got barbecue, but man, look at this view, man. Check this out. All right, I went on a cruise about 10 years ago or so, and that's one of the terminals. That says uh, Terminal 2 for the cruise ships, so I wish it was one there, man, but it will be crazy if it was. But look at this port, man. I can't go beyond this fence or everything's blocked off, but you know how I love ships, man. Oh, look at that, man. It is like... 81 degrees right now the sun started going down going into a fence right now can't get past it but man look at that view man so it's sparkman's wharf and it's downtown tampa and it's right along the uh river walk so you get on the river walk it's about 2.5 miles in length and this is one of the stops at sparkman's wharf and it's a lot of sports bars down here man people patio area where you can drink bring order drink and bring it out here and just enjoy the vibe so i know the sun's going down looks really nice after dark i'm sure but sparkman's wharf gotta come down here hyde park i just left it's only about uh, about 10 15 minute drive from here it was only like three miles away but just all the traffic and stuff but man you got to come down here
All right, just outside of Sparkman's Wharf. Go ahead to the parking garage, go back to the RV. You see cruise terminal number two. And we showed you the, I showed you the backside of that when I was at the uh, Sparkman's Wharf where the bars and fine dining and all that was. And man, I wish I could catch a cruise ship right there because there'll be a massive cruise ship right there, man. So I think they come in on Sundays, maybe Sunday morning I can come in and catch one there. And there go the uh, Tampa Aquarium and uh, Bolts uh, hockey team. Not the stadium is right around the corner, but it's a lot to do in downtown Tampa. Sun going down, and so am I. Headed back to the RV. <laughs>